Life I was living was like one day at a time. Focus was on nowhere. I was just focus on on like the day ahead of me. So I'm getting money this day, do what I do this day. And if I make it to see tomorrow, if I like whatever happens tomorrow, I worry about tomorrow, I worry about next week. I wasn't planning for the future. I was just like living day to day with like no direction. So I was out with a few friends um, at the sports bar I like to go to, um, you know, drinking, you know, looking for girls to take home, you know, which uh, then I thought that was my identity, something I like to do. I thought that was my life at the time, so I just got tired of it, like, and I was just like, you know, I don't want to live life like this no more. It's got to be more of life. It's not, I'm not achieving nothing. I'm going nowhere. I'm being stagnant, and, like, stagnation is death, so I didn't want to be like that no more, so I was just like, I know I need to find God again. I want to go to the gym, which was downtown Brooklyn, too. From there, I wanted to go to work, and then before I go to the gym, I wanted to go to church, but I want to all to be in the same area, so I go to churches in the downtown Brooklyn area, and C3 happened to pop up, it was one of them, and I ended up going to C3. Through Sundays, um, what I learned about God is that He could work through anybody. Like, you don't gotta be somebody famous, somebody good looking, somebody handsome, somebody that got a little together. Like, He could take, like, somebody just was like, I could say lost in the source or lost in the world like me and making it somebody and and help them, you know, bring other people to Christ. You know, you don't gotta be some high movie singer, rap star, basketball player. You don't gotta be the most fanciest person or like, you don't gotta have it all together though. Like, I remember like years ago, like um, telling people I'm gonna go back to school or tell people um, I'm, I'm not gonna drink so much no more, I'm gonna stop doing this. And now like, I'm actually going to school. I finished my first semester and like, drinking doesn't like, have the effect of me it doesn't no more. Like I'd rather read book now than drink. Like there's no better feeling on being on a train and reading a book and then see somebody else reading a book. Like yeah, you go. That's that's what I'm talking about. And just being free, waking up sober is the best feeling. You know, coming on church Sunday is the best feeling. So he told me that. So I just I'm grateful. You know, dinner parties has been like probably one of the biggest impacts in my life in this church community. In the beginning, like I didn't want to go to dinner party. Like I just wanted to come to church on Sunday. You know, hear the word and just be around the present, pay my tithes and like. Leave. Like I thought, like dinner parties was weird. Like who got time to come someplace on Wednesday night and sit, sit around a bunch of strangers? Like I didn't. I don't know if they cook good, let alone go to dinner party with them. I want to eat your food, but like Kevin, he never stopped texting me, man. Like he he was so adamant about me coming, bro. Like and I'm I'm so grateful he did that because he could have left me alone after I told him no a few times. But he was always like, bro, I just want you to come. I'm keep praying for you no matter what. In the beginning, I felt like kind of iffy to do this because I felt like I was just putting up a high pedestal. Like, you know, seeing the C3 stories, I always thought that these people like, oh, these mega super Christians that, you know, just walk in such a powerful light. So you got to tell that story because, you know, these are example Christians like me. I'm not, I'm far, I'm better than I used to be, but I'm, I'm far from where I want to be. If it's God's will and I can help somebody, just, you know, look at me. I'm nobody perfect. I still, you know, stumble and fall sometimes and he's still working on me, still working through me, look at the progress he made through me, he can do it through you, so that's all I wanted to like. There's no better party in the world than coming to church on Sunday. God's being patient, his, his grace, you know, know how many times I messed up, know how many times I fall back and slid. He just, his grace renewed me each time, and each time he know he had a plan for me, he just kept making me get better and better. Like, me being on host team, people see me on host team, see me as a big, happy, you know, loving person. But like, I wasn't always like that. I didn't even want to be on host team in the beginning. So like, God just worked on me and like, put me on host team, took me to a whole nother level. Now people know me as this person that's always happy and green people. And that's naturally who I am and I love host team. I love doing that. But like, I always wasn't like that. To God's grace and him just being patient on me, he worked on me, made me to that person, gave me a new identity and with him, which I'm so grateful for.